What's happening, family? Professor T is back with some more reacting to some undiscovered musicians. This is a redo. So I actually am going to just, uh, on this one, edit this and splice my thoughts on the song um, afterward because I had some pretty astute comments on there. So what we're going to do here, this is from a submission from Friends and Family Week. Yeah, buddy. This is from Drew Sizzle. Drew Clark, bass player from the band. Go back a few years back. He was the one that was playing the bass on uh, those songs. If you go to the other channel and check it out, you can hear him playing the bass on um, like Rosebush. Uh, he's on that one. South of the River, he played bass on that one. He played bass on... Um, it's another one that's on the other channel that was released. Uh, South of the River, he played the bass on... Uh, a few other ones that have not yet been released. But uh, there's there's some other songs that's going to be released that he was the one playing the bass on them. So this is his new project. He uh, he left me behind. So we go the bigger and better things. So this is a rock project. Uh, but this is cool because that's his main type of music. So it's cool that he's coming home. He's coming home. Coming home. Tell the world I'm coming home. Let the rain wash away all the pain from yesterday i know my kingdom awaits they forgiven my mistakes i'm coming home coming home tell the world i'm coming home so without any further ado let's check out this project from his new group hearts don't lie self-titled album hearts don't lie and the song that i selected is I Needed You. So let's check this out. We're listening to it on Tidal this time too. It actually sounds cleaner on Tidal. Turn it all the way up for you. My opinion is already different just from listening to this on Tidal rather than Spotify. Because like, you can definitely hear it's a higher quality stream. You can't hear it. She came in like a song, and nothing would ever be wrong. Female vocalist sounds good. As I said in the first one too, like the um You can hear the guitar work sounds top notch. You can hear this was recorded in the wild, which means for people that don't record music in the wild, you record it not to a click track and it's also not quantized. I don't know the details of the drummer on this though. Definitely too, like I said the first time I released this, it gives, it gives me some like 90s rock vibe. Like almost, maybe not even 90s, maybe a little, definitely like older rock music vibes for sure. The guitar solo, I'm gonna shut up for the guitar solo. Guitar, that's the one instrument I was never able to conquer. I've tried learning how to play guitar, but I failed every time I tried. Maybe when I'm like 50, I'll buy a guitar again and try to learn how to play it. It's so cool. Uh, lyrical writing too. It's a good tune too, man. Nice. 
can hear the bass work is good on it too. I can actually hear the bass clear too on title. I reviewed the first time. I'm glad I actually did this again. It, it was by accident, but I'm glad I did it again because it sounds clearer on title. Like I can hear the bass better because it's not as compressed. Yes, I am a baller and I had the maximum uh, title subscription too. I could hear that too. That was a cool right there. Be a quiet so you can hear it. Like a different effect on the guitar in that part right there. She's going after it on that singing part right there. <laughs> she was getting after that one. song though for real. Some more guitar work. This is the breakdown right here, right? I'm pretty into rock music too though, but for me, for me personally, I like, I like hard rock. That's kind of what I like the most. No surprise that the guitar work is great because Tony is a great guitar player. So like I can hear that, like when he's playing, I know the parts that are him because like I know his work. I like this part right here. Hearts don't lie. I'll give you a shout out on that album work too. Cool album art. Good work. Good work, guys. I like this track. So now the video might be more interesting because you can actually hear what it is and I'm talking about this time. <laughs> so I've decided to, as I was listening to I'm just going to go ahead and give my comments again because it's changed than the original time I uploaded this here in a better copy. I'm going to make that a new rule. From now on, when I get submissions from Spotify, I'm going to see if I can pull them up on title because it's just... It's, it's, since I just had the free Spotify setup, there's no comparison to the sound quality. If I just go to my baller, twenty dollar a month title, iFi subscription, there's no comparison. Like it just sounds so much more clear, and you can, it's not as compressed. I can hear so much more detail. So from hearing it better, my thoughts have changed. So I still, my initial reaction, think that it's amazing. Definitely get some like 90s. Well, I could say 90s because I don't know the decades. I would say like just in general, it gives me like, it made me think of like Pearl Jam a little bit. That was the band that still keeps coming to mind now that I'm hearing it again um, on another day. And, you know, it's just, it's a great song. You know, I, I think that the female vocalist is cool because it's something different. You usually hear male vocalists definitely on rock. So, I, I like that part of it a lot. That's a very, it's a nice touch. Critiques. So my critiques, again, from last time. Another reason why it's kind of good that I'm redoing this. Um, so with the vocals, that was something I commented on with the first one. Um, so I'm going to start there. With the vocals, there's nothing wrong with the vocals. I want to make that clear. It sounds good. It's just there's two things here that I can comment on a little bit better. So hearing it on a title where it's fully... Um, you can hear the full quality. Uh, it's 
that's actually not in the mix where my complaint was. In the mix, I still will say I feel like it, it probably was exactly what you were going for. It was to make it a little bit more basic and pure sounding. However, I always get calls. People call me at the most inopportune time. Like, I'm right in the middle. I'm going to call you back, maybe. All right, to the point, I guess. <laughs> I got distracted from the phone ringing. So with the vocals, what I was saying about that was with the mix, you could tell that you were definitely going for like a more stripped back classic sound. Um, however, I feel like with so much that was going on in it, it actually kind of creatively, if you wanted to do it, I think it would have sounded good if you did a little bit more with the uh, vocals processing wise. Like my, maybe you could have did like a little bit of like a delay, like a long, loud reverb to it if you wanted to. Because like I said, this probably was what you were going for. The other thing with the vocals now, too, is like I said, at first I thought that it, it was like in the mix, but now I can actually hear this, my critique for that, and for the vocal performance, it was phrasing, actually what it was that I was hearing in there. So I would just say that for the singer, maybe with the phrasing, it's something that with vocals, the reason why I have a lot of critiques on vocals is because I've been studying it because I suck at doing vocals. And I've been trying to get better at it. So I've been studying hard, I've taken lessons, I've been working with, with a lot of people, you know, just getting pointers from other singers over this uh, pandemic. And um, that's something that it is that can improve that is the, the phrasing of it. What it is, there's a lot of things where you can tell like the phrasing was cut short. Like, um, I can't remember all the words, so like something I know this much is true, I needed you. You know what I mean? Like, you could have been like more connected. Like, I know this much is true that I needed you. This is an example. If I do the words to how the song actually goes, I could do a better impression. But that's just an example. I mean, like, maybe it's just a phrasing. There's certain parts that I felt like could have been more connected with that. And uh, really, that's all I could give you critique-wise. Because otherwise, everything sounds amazing. And I like this, and I look forward to hearing you guys do some more stuff. So what I can include in this video now, too, because this was in, I don't know what day of the week. I'm assuming it's probably going to be tomorrow's video, which at the time that I'm recording this would be Wednesday. I'm going to actually do the unveiling of this. But I can include this to show you guys where you rank on the Professor T Billboard chart. So you guys right now, you ended up. You were in the top 10. You guys are rated at number 8. So that's where you guys are right now. So you guys got pretty high up there on the charts. And uh, all the other songs are songs that I've previously done. And the video starting tomorrow, I'm pretty sure, and then continuing, you guys are going to see there's some more explanation of those other songs on there and why you're ranked the way you are. It's kind of rationalizing that. But I really enjoyed this song, and I enjoyed listening to you guys. And to reiterate what I said on the first one for Drew, because he already saw the first one. We're going to do another collab together, because, man, don't you miss that? Being mixed, being real loud in the mix. Everybody can hear the bass. The bass is the main instrument. So we we going to hook up one more time on that. But yeah, I like this, this uh, Hearts Don't Lie project. I'm going to definitely be keeping an eye out for you guys, because I love rock music, and... I like hearing people uh, do rock music, and it's good. So I'm going to definitely be continuing to check this out. So the hearts don't lie. The Drew Clark, a.k.a. Drew Sizzle, and all of you guys watching at home, I love what you do. I had a great time listening to this, and I hope all of you did too. And I spread nothing but peace and love to all of you, and I will see you on the next one.